G'day everyone, welcome back to Fiber Plays FTL, jumping straight back in. The introduction on the ship is getting shorter and shorter and shorter. You know exactly what we're going to do for the first sector or two. Getting a fight straight over this labor to hopefully pick up a crew member. Last time round, having a, a shorter number of crew wasn't helpful. Uh, I did make a mistake which cost us a crew member. And then I neglected to use Cloak the entire fight, which wasn't obviously the best decision either. I, I spent the money on it and then I didn't use it. So we're going to try not to do that again. It must have been pretty painful to watch. We'll have better luck this time around. These guys don't want to surrender, so we're not going to pick up a crew member, unfortunately. But we do pick up 30 scrap and 3 fuel. We'll go through the nebula since it'll be pretty easy earlier on. It'll give us an opportunity to get through more of the beacons as we move towards the exit. Another easy win here. Haven't taken a hit, which is good. 21 scrap. Uh, we're going to go to Okay, well, loose centers there. Oh, we lost. It said that here. But that's okay. We'll go to these two. Purchase an unknown weapon for 45 scrap. Mm. Let's attack them. It's all about those fights in this early, early stage. Okay. So three fights, no damage taken. Can't complain with that. Picking up fuel and scrap as we go. Alright, they're trying to get away straight away this time. So we need to obviously put a little dent in their engines if we can. Didn't help that we missed with the first ion hit. Engine now down, which is good. So we're probably gonna, oh, weapons are down too, so we'll just keep hitting the shields until we pick up a win here. We did take two damage the first time this run. Ah, we pick up a little bit of scrap and a couple more fuel. If I go this way, will I be able to move? No, okay, so that would have been a big trap if I went there. No shields to worry about, so we're going to use our ion on their weapon. One of them goes down. The other one puts a big hit onto our laser, onto our shield, but doesn't do any more. Both their weapons are now down, and we pick up a reward here, potentially a double reward. 13 scrap and another 21 scrap and some fuel. So up to 145 early. For the asteroid field, we find ourselves a pirate ship. It would be good if I upgraded level 2 shields before this because we're probably going to take a little bit of damage this fight. Um, but if we can keep targeting their shields, they'll obviously take more damage. Maybe they won't take any damage actually. Sorry, maybe we won't take any damage. We should have just then, but we got a miss, a lucky miss. And we're going to wipe them out now without taking any damage. 20 scrap. Can't complain. 164. Good opportunity. Um, I can't do it on this beacon, but on the next one I'll upgrade our shields to level 2. Had a fight at just about every single beacon, which has been really good, um, giving us a chance to maximise our scrap. Just lose our drone part, which 
impacts our potential to do damage greatly, considering it's our only way of doing damage. Go back out there straight away. Uh, pretty weak officer, I know we're not going to accept it. And again, we don't take any damage, so... Couldn't really ask for much more, this sector. Um, our reward in the end wasn't much better. I'm going to hit this Distress Beacon and a stool. Could be one of my favourite sector ones so far. We will give them fuel. Okay, they've updated our map. There are a couple, we're gonna to get to another distress beacon. Well, we can either go to this one or this one. We'll go to the one up top. See what we've got here, crew member and a weapon maybe. No, I'll leave it. Could get cloaking, I know, but I'd rather spend that on level 2 shield. We will not pay that toll. Twelve scrap is not enough to get me over the line. It's not even close to be honest. Take a couple of damage in this fight, but... 22 scrap, 2 fuel, and 2 missiles. We'll hit the distress beacon. And then we're probably going to have to hit the exit a little bit early. Hail them. It's a pirate ship. Pretty well kitted one as well. I didn't realise we took 1 damage to our drone... Um, our drone system, but... Taking down that oxygen early, which is handy and their shields have been impacted as well so we can keep the iron firing on their weapon should be a pretty easy fight to pick up contact the refugee ship and they give us even more scrap so 233 we might actually be able to hit the exit jump down here and then come back would be really cool if we could get that distress beacon, that's not going to happen. Moving to examine the station, intruders on board, alright, a couple of rockmen in a really inconvenient location, so we're probably going to lose engine. Might as well get this guy on door duty. This could actually be a bit of a challenge, let's see how we go. Luckily they don't have much holes, so we're going to be able to uh, beat them and then it's just going to be about managing, micromanaging our troops so that we don't lose any of them and then we get these intruders off the ship. So we've taken them down now, that's one problem out of the way. Uh, unfortunately they're going to be having a crack at getting through these doors in a minute. And when they do, we need to make sure there are two people waiting there to fight them. Probably not there, actually. Probably up here, because the oxygen will be depleted up there. This Mantis is pretty much buggered now. Um, and I think we should be able to beat the rock guys here as well. Have this Engie in here on standby. We can quickly finish this off. Luckily we didn't lose oxygen, so we're going to allow it to flow back throughout the ship. After taking a little bit of a hit, but he should be okay. Pull him out to be safe. Put Jamie Curl back in there. Alrighty, everyone can heal up while we shut... Ah, we can't shut the doors, okay. So we're going to need to send Arfi and Stylegar J in to fix the doors quickly. Hold your breath, boys. Doors are back, shuttle doors, give it a minute or two and then everyone can go on a, a repair mission of their own.
So that was interesting. If we faced a tougher ship, it would have been a lot harder. Um, luckily, we were able to take the ship out quite quickly, which meant that the, we could focus fully on the fight. If I was focusing on two things at once, well, you know how that goes for me sometimes. Got more than enough scrap here, so I'm going to quickly grab these level 2 shields before we jump down to the last beacon and then head back. Because even if there's a, an option to spend some scrap, we'll have enough. But it's just another 5. Got an early hit on their weapon. And without level 2 shields, I'd be very surprised if we managed to take any damage from this one. Very good sector all around. Would have been good to pick up an extra crew member or two, but we've earned ourselves about 300 scrap, which I can't complain with. And we get to the exit just in the nick of time. We will go to the pirate controlled sector, hopefully pick up a weapon early and then just crush through this one with an opportunity to make plenty of scrap. I'm going to go this way because it opens up uh, the most potential options. Big hit from a laser there, level 2 shield thankfully prevents us from taking any damage. Four scrap and a new Engi crew member. Welcome aboard, Matthew. Our new shield man, up to three Engi. Styles RJ has a real job on his hand keeping these boys in line. This will be a very, very quick and straightforward fight for us. What I want to know is how these water scouts managed to survive here before we even got here. They have no shield. That took, I literally think, about five seconds. A lot of scrap now. It'd be good to get to a, a store that has a weapon for us and maybe a mantis, or we could pick up crew teleporter as well. Gonna go distress here, store. Try and dislodge the ship by shooting at the rocks. Pick up 18 scrap, but two damage. Would have been smarter for me to fight that one, I think. I think the reward would have been a lot higher. Exit is in kind of an unusual spot. It's not right at the end, and even if we go right at the end, we can't go back to it. We'll take down this super shield quickly. A couple of misses, unfortunately. The weapons have now gone offline. Shield's taken a hit as well, and we shouldn't pick up any damage in this fight, I wouldn't have thought. Really itching to get a new weapon soon, so let's jump to the store after this and see what we can find. Contact the civilian ship, we pick up a heavy ion. I think we're going to sell that. I think we can go to one more before we go to this store. That would be the most op optimal way of moving forward anyway. Um, and then of course it gives us an opportunity to splash the cash a little bit. I'm hoping it's a 
still with two pages because we've got plenty of scrap. Um, if it's still with one, we probably won't find all the things that we want to. Need to get these weapons healed up so that we can get our iron back out there. But our combat drone's doing a fine, fine job. We go down to Orange Hole for the first time, but we pick up 41 scrap and 3 fuel. Okay, now we'll now we'll jump to the store and then go here, here, exit. Fingers crossed, let's get that double page. Okay, it's good. Nice one. Alright, so we'll grab the flak. Sell the heavy ion. We'll pick up Thomas Block. Pick up crew teleporter. And I think we'll leave it at that and we'll use our scrap to upgrade our weapons a couple of times so that we can use this flak as well. Uh, we are going to need to upgrade the reactor now that we've put in the teleporter. Okay, slavers, so this could be a really good opportunity for us to pick up a, a crew member. Looks like a pretty easy ship to fight as well, which I'm happy with. Yeah, we're not going to teleport this time, so I'll put the extra point in the engines. Or I could take it out of engines and med bay and get the flak charging up. That's probably a better idea. We will accept their offer, even though it is just a mere human with no skills. Crew members are crew members. Let's get this guy on sensors, ready to move to doors. One more jump before we leave. Another slaver. We will attack them. Now we can fire the flak. Do a major amount of damage and we pick up a rock man. Cool. Did take a little bit of unnecessary damage there, but probably going to get our rock man um, in here because he moves slowly and we want him to man these two stations and we'll move our human up to the drone parts. So what are we up to? Seven crew members. That's really good for the second sector. Um, I don't really have another option here apart from jumping to the exit. Uh, so we'll get this Engie back on engines. Arfi. And we're pretty sweet to go. Would have been good to pick up some scrap from the last two fights so we could upgrade our reactor, but search among the stores to see if someone will sell to you. No, but we pick up some scrap and fuel. So let's grab an extra reactor power. And we would jump to the Engie controlled as opposed to the civilian. listen to their problems. Okay, so we can send our, hu our human crew member to communicate with the Mantis, or we can send our Mantis crew member. I'd rather send the Mantis, I think that's got a better chance of working. We pick up 20 scrap, a couple of missiles, and a drone part. So we're going to hit these two and then go to the store. Um, not sure exactly what we'd want to pick up. Let's see, we pick up a bit of free scrap there, and I get a 10,000 scrap achievement. Cool. Investigate the battlefield, we find ourselves a energy fighter. Time to fire the flak cannon onto the shield, all of the mist. That would be nothing short of what I would expect. The last thing we really want in terms of crew now is going to be one more mantis so that we can have the two man mantis boarding team. Two Mantis boarding team. Um, so let's see if we can pick that up from. I'll actually get one more in before jumping to the store. <laughs> Wasn't much point in the end. Um, I 
think we'll be able to hit the store and the distress beacon before the exit, which might put a quest marker on for the next sector for us. Really want a beam. Cloaking would be good, but we're not going to be able to afford it. So we'll just keep moving. One merchant seems to be mass broadcasting a request for A. Should we respond? Yes, great. I was worried no one would respond. I need to deliver this cargo of drone parts. Okay. Where have they asked us to do it? That's pretty convenient for us. I don't think we'll get to the distress beacon, but. No, we're going to be one beacon short, unfortunately, of getting there. Okay, so they were already dead when we got there, so I guess we get to keep the drone part. And we pick up a bit more scrap as well. Jump to here, then the one next to the exit, then the exit. Back to sitting on plenty of scrap, which I'm happy with. Okay, so they got mind control. And they've used it on our weapons guy, which is less than ideal. Um, with just one Mantis, I'm not really sure I want to board. If I had two, I'd definitely send it into mind control. Um, we're probably going to lose both our weapons, so I want to get a couple of hits away if I can. Going to fire the flak. And start a bit of damage, which is positive. Taking down their mind control now. Switch both weapons back to shield. Uh, 22 scraps, not really enough. We're not going to accept. We've got fires going on all over the ship. We're going to take a big hit, are we? No, we're okay. 28 scrap wasn't great either. Uh, we will be alright to just get here and then the exit, I think. Okay. Got our drone out there. I'm pretty well just down 15 drones without the drone recovery part. That kind of goes bang, doesn't hit anything. And we take them out pretty quickly. We're going to scrap in a fuel and back to the exit. See what we have here, and we'll probably look to do some ship upgrades, I reckon. Two fuel for two drone parts. Mm, no. So 150 odd will get us level 3 shields. I'm just going to jump see if there's a store in range on the next sector. If there's not, then we'll do that level 3 shield. I always say I'm going to do shields and then I don't. I just want to. I'm, I'm hungry for a store while we've got this much scrap. No shields on this ship. Black cannon misses every single shot. We take a little bit of damage. Luckily not enough to take down our combat drone. And we pick up 42 scrap and find nothing on the station. Now I'm gonna do those shield. This run's going really well so far. So I'm a little bit low on fuel, keep my eye on that. Mm, if it was the other way around, I'd be happy. And we find ourselves at the store with only 120, of course, after I spend it all. And they've got cloaking, which is exactly what I expected. So instead, we're going to pick up an extra Mantis. Um, we're going to grab some of their fuel. Put a couple points in the hull. It's pretty good. So this other mantis in here ready to go. I put one more point back in hull, I reckon. Okay, we would have to dismiss the crew member to do this, but it's actually a really tempting offer. I know 
styles always says not to um, buy from the slavers and I always forget to listen but I think this one's different because I could dismiss a human and get a yellow level weapons guy but only 36 and he's a Zoltan which would save me a reactor power upgrade I don't want to do it. <laughs> kind of want to do it. Um, feel really torn. I'm not going to do it because I think our Engie is better suited and he might be either yellow already or very close to being yellow. Yep, he's yellow already and he'll repair quickly. Um, Okay, so I think this is a good choice. Can I probably do a little bit of boarding here? I want to take down their weapons as quickly as I can. We'll see if we can uh, beat this, clear out this ship quickly enough. I think we're just going to be able to. Let's get this guy starting to run. Oh, nope, he didn't hit the right guy. Okay, now we're in trouble. Uh, let's turn off the two weapons. Let's run a quick lap with our guys until we can get them back, which is now. They're going to jump in here. We're going to be able to pull them out. Okay. If I can quickly heal these guys up in the med bay. Um, how am I going to get the extra reactor to do that? We'll turn engines off. Heal these guys up. I'm going to be able to send them back out there. Um, and finish these guys off and we'll get the good scrap reward for clearing out the ship. So their first man just goes down and now we're going to be able to attack the rock man and clear this out which is good. Okay, we find a number of slaves in the cargo hold. One asks if they're to be released. We could use more crew. Um, okay, so we don't actually have an option to not take one. I'm going to see the Mantis and see if uh, he's a better fighter than the two we've got. He's not. He's an engines man. Still, probably better having them block, um, cause he's, if we ever need to move him into a engines, we can, so I'm going to dismiss block. Thank you for your, uh, your brave victory just then. So we just need to wait now till we can pull, oh, we can pull our guy back. Welcome aboard Karis, you are our new boarding member. Went in the engine would be handy, wouldn't it? Can I upgrade our reactor one? Maybe twice. And piloting. Let's do that. We'll go down here and then into the nebula. Is this nebula as well? It is, okay. Got to say there's another fight when you're a solar flare, which isn't ideal, but they've got two crew members again, so if we can get a couple of hits away early um, through our weapons, I might look to do a little bit of boarding. We've taken their magic down to 70. Let's fire again. Oh, we've taken a few hits ourselves. And we've lost our flight cannon. Okay. Time to board. Uh, maybe not. Let's not risk losing our, our crew. We can win this fight. We're taking a bit of damage as well, so I kind of want this to be over. Need the flak to hit. Pretty good offer in terms of fuel and more missiles that we don't need. 25 scrap though, this late is not really enough. So we take them out instead and we pick up 48 scrap. Everyone's in good order. 
Both stations are down. We do need to repair our hull probably a little bit, but I'm not too concerned at the moment. I could go here, here, then the two nebula, and then exit. Let's bribe the rebels to release them. For 14 scrap, we might get a better reward. We get nothing. Oh well. It was 14 scrap. It was worth the gamble in my eyes. Another fight with a slave ship. It's only got one level of shield, so our flat cannon is going to be able to... ...miss completely, as it normally does. Uh, surrender is not an option. Let's quickly wait. Then we have a med bay. This goes down to 10. So I'm going to pull our combat drone, pull our two weapons, and board. We wipe out that mantis, and we'll be able to wipe out this rock man as well. again. Um, we'll demand the Mantis join, we'll pick up the uh, associated rewards. He isn't a fighter either so we're probably not going to grab him, although he's actually got two skills but these guys are now starting to get their, their fighting up. So we're going to save him and then dismiss him, at least he can live a free life. And we pick up the scrap reward. Uh, thank god for that, I nearly left our, our two Mantis on the other ship. That wouldn't have been the best idea. Okay, now we're good to go. We're going to keep jumping into the nebula now. Attack the pirate. Lost our senses, unfortunately, but it's okay. We won't bother boarding this time. Um, we'll just wipe them out as quickly as we can. Black cannon hits, takes out their shield. Oh, oh, they're targeting their oxygen. I think I just skipped something, but I think it was saying that they were trying to um, charge their engines and leave. 25 scrap isn't enough, so we're going to take them out. I accidentally went for the oxygen at the start instead of their shield, but it's okay. Didn't seem to do us too much damage. <sighs> we, are, we are like, it's raining crew members. We could have had, if there was no cap, we would have about 13 or 14, I think. Um, Lissandra, 20% shield upgrade. I think we've already got a shield person. No. Maybe we get rid of Matt, Matthew. Um, put this rock man as our shield guy. We slower as a repairer, but he's immune to fire. So I think we're going to do that. We're going to get rid of Matthew, move Lissandra into shield duty, get that faster recharge time, save this layout, jump to, we could actually get two more in this way, I reckon it's probably a better play. Nothing on the station. Will we get the distress beacon and then the last beacon before the exit? I think we will. Uh, let's loot and destroy the ship. We get ourselves into a fight. Let's wait and fire our two weapons together onto the shield. Get a little bit of a hit there. Get to repair our door system. They're trying to get out now, so we'll target the engine, and we'll pick up a win here. They did knock our hull down a little bit. Awful offer of a surrender, so we're going to take them out. Picked up 49 scrap instead and 3 fuel. The only concern at the moment is the dip in hull. Everything else, we're looking great. We need to pick up uh, cloaking, another weapon, and level 2 oxygen, and maybe another drone. Um, but other than that, this is going really well. So we're going to hit... Oh, that was a distress beacon. 
Okay, must have been a trap. Go to the last beacon we can before the exit. Uh, we could try to be a hero. I think we will, even though we're quite low on hull. As soon as I get their shields down, I want to target their weapon. Actually, I'm going to put the flak straight onto the weapon. Which I've done, and now their weapons are offline. Send the combat drone back out there to speed this up a little bit. Except the more generous bribe. Still not a good offer. Especially because we get the double reward for saving whoever it is that we're saving. One more hit, and they're down. So no damage taken, which is good. 21 scrap. And we speak. We don't get to speak to the people we saved, unfortunately, but that's okay. We've been pretty lucky in terms of beacons, so I'm not going to complain too much about bad luck. Uh, we will buy as much fuel as we can, because two scrap per fuel is quite cheap. On to the next sector. Um, probably go the Rebel Controlled. We'll go the Rebel Controlled. We need to get to a store, we need to heal up our coal. Fire both weapons now onto the shields, get a little bit of damage done. Big missile misses, thankfully. Wow, that would have been uh, pretty detrimental, actually. Flak hits a second time, which is um, great for us. I think when it hits a third time, we're going to kill a couple of these crew members and we might look to board. Uh, we'll accept the offer of surrender. Really, really need to find ourselves a store. Um, I'm getting worried. We've got a really good uh, layout here. I'm just concerned about the fact that... Oh, of course we find ourselves in an asteroid belt. Okay, this could be pretty messy. We need to target their weapons to make sure that our weapons don't go down. If they hacked shields there, we would have been in a lot of strife, but I think we're gonna be okay how it is. Need to get them down as quickly as we can. Taking their weapons offline, which is good. And fortunately, we won't take any more damage this fight, I can't imagine. Great. Alright, 46 scrap, 3 fuel, that's a great reward. Um, I might even use it on level 4 shields when we jump out of here, just to sort of alleviate the, the stress we're under with the low hull. Jump to this one, opened up a few options. Really need to heal up. Another fight. Just need to keep targeting weapons. Uh, these could hit and they could do a lot of damage. Thankfully, it missed. Um, we didn't get any hits with our flak on their weapons. We might get a bit more luck here if that hits are in trouble. We did one damage, thankfully. Ion should be hitting their weapons as well. I'm trying to get out of here. Uh, we're going to accept their offer again just to make sure we don't take any more damage. Thankfully, that missile missed because that wouldn't have been fair at all. There's nothing here. Um, I'm going to jump to the exit because it actually opens up a few options. And if we can see a store, then we'll go to it. Otherwise, I'm thinking we'll just go to the next sector anyway. Do I risk jumping one more time? I think I will. Could be a trap, so we're going to avoid it. And we find ourselves a store right at the end, thankfully. So we're going to heal up. And hopefully pick up another weapon.
Stealth weapon sounds really good. Cloaking sounds really good too. Should we grab cloaking? I want stealth weapon. Prevents your weapon fire from disrupting your cloak. Well, let me need to shoot while cloaked. I think we want to do that. Okay. Hit this distress beacon and then make our way back down to the exit. Not as scared of getting in a fight anymore, obviously, because we don't have such a low hull. Just three crew members on this ship, so if we can uh, weaken any of them in any way with our uh, weapons, we will. Uh, we will board, sorry. I, I kind of just finished that sentence and went, yep, nailed it. Uh, so let's. I don't know, we've just lost boarding anyway. So we'll just wipe them out instead. I was going to send two guys down there into the oxygen. Uh, we're not going to accept 24 scrap, because that's not enough. Thankfully that missile missed as well. I could have cloaked, I don't know why I didn't. I need to remember to cloak. Luckily the pursuit will be slower here, so I think we're just going to get to the exit. Actually this is a better way to go. Jump straight there. Forty-one minutes now, guys. So I'm going to hit the stop button. Seems like I always get to this part uh, right around the forty-minute mark. This will be a two-part episode, obviously. Uh, so tune in for the next part. Thanks for watching this one. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. I uh, will see you guys shortly, and we're going to try and get that first win. Thank you.